Finding a location to create your main base is one of Ark's most difficult challenges. From hidden caves to plenty of flatlands, the world is your oyster. But finding something to settle with takes a lot of commitment, as we're going to be spending a lot of time there. Well, that's exactly what we're about to do, so now that you've liked and subscribed, let's get straight into this episode. After last time's escapades of finding the level 145 Allosaurus and knocking it out, we got to work taming him. But before gathering some prime meat, I went out farming lots of materials and crafting some foundations as you already know, we were looking to move out to a new location off the beach. Whereabouts? I hadn't decided, but I was excited to go out exploring. But before I could do any of that, once I had crafted a few foundations, I set off to gather up some prime meat as we were a long way off kibble yet. Also, I have never attempted or made any kind of kibble ever, so please forgive my attempts later on in the series as I'm sure we'll be making a kibble farm at some point in the future. Above our current base was the land of Argentavis, many there to go in and take their meat. And that's just what I did. But whilst gathering the prime, I spotted a super nice coloured one, but as it was a low level, I decided to leave it for now, keeping it alive in case I ever wanted to brighten up my base. I fed the taming aloe, and whilst he ate, I headed out, looking around my local area, searching for any nice locations, but before I could go too far, Ali the Allosaurus was tamed. This is another Moss Chops reference by the way, and if you've still not watched it after it being mentioned twice now, what are you doing? It really is great, especially the theme song. For the saddle, I needed some metal, so I got to work on that, heading back over the hill and seeing more vibrant orgies, before gathering up lots of metal and some rare flowers. I left my metal to smelt away after crafting up more parts for our first building, some windows and door frames, and finally having enough ingots to finish a saddle, meaning I could now ride Ali around, and boy is he quick, both walking and his attack speed. We ran around the shoreline, chomping through everything in our path, even easily taking out a Bronto with ease until heading back. Having him made me feel much safer, and I couldn't wait to use him more, but for now, we still needed to find a good location for our new base, which was easier on the back of Opal, so once again, we headed out on our flyer, across lakes, through the trees, on rocks, and through tunnels which I really wanted to use at first, however there just wasn't enough room for everything we needed there. I almost settled on another strange location, which had stairs leading to a peculiar hall with statues, and a glowing light coming from somewhere that I just wasn't sure of where. Sadly, once again, Lack of space and just the overall location wasn't good enough here, but I would like to head back one day and just see if I could find anything that I may have missed. But for now however, it was time to carry on, seeing an Alpha Rex but after testing just how hard it bit, I got out of there and set off through the snow and eventually seeing a large castle, but on approach, I could see there were lots of large bats and spiders inside all super high levels also, so we thought against that option too, however they did end up chasing me for a while. On the other side of the broken bridge however, was a nice stretch of land, which would create a great place to build up a complex before eventually creating an army to storm the castle and take it for ourselves. I placed down the foundations to the first building of the new base the storage chest to keep everything in, and finally packed everything on us away before finishing up for the day. 
So join us next time to see how the base comes along and if you'd like to see more of me inside of ARK, be sure to catch up on the previous episodes or my live streams 